Ashley to April, your hot, sticky, and sweet potatoes. How did you come up with that it name? It is hot, sticky, sweet potatoes. Microphone. Well, it has got hot, sticky, and sweet. It's got curry paste, which I'm going to add in now, which will give it our little flavor kick. And then we also have avocados in here, which is going to make it buttery. And this is kind of my way. So the rest of those I would have expected, but not the avocado. Why did you get the avocado in? Well, the avocado gives it that buttery texture without having to add the butter. Okay. <laughs> then you just pour it in the dish, and then you just top it, garnish it with our pistachios and our toasted coconut. Oh, so you don't cook this at you all? You don't cook it. No, wow. it's very rustic. And then you top it with a little more honey, and that just makes it a little more sticky and sweet. I'm it just taste turns this. out beautiful. It's so simple and just a fresh way to do sweet potatoes. That's fantastic. But today, I want to return the favor and show you one of my recipes. This one is going to be called Blue Peach Pizza. It's an appetizer. It is so good. And what's cool about it is it's unexpectedly good. It's got peaches, blue cheese, red onions, sausage, and of course, Philadelphia cream cheese. This is seriously the star of the pizza. This is what makes up that creamy sauce that everybody loves so much about this pizza. It's awesome. My name is April Sladen McKinney and I'm from Murfreesboro, Tennessee. I'm a realtor there and I just got married 17 days ago, I think it is. I can't even keep track of the time. Oh, it was so much fun. Cooking for him is really it's built our relationship, honestly. And I actually made the Thanksgiving turkey this year, so <laughs> I was pretty proud of that. All right. Get her. Okay. <laughs> April is a brand new bride. I am. <laughs> brand spanking new. How long have you been married, April? Um, two weeks and two days. Two weeks and two days, and she's mm -hmm. already slaving in the kitchen. Slaving away in here. <laughs> Presenting my dish to the judges and Paula today was great. They all, you know, seemed to love the dish. They got to see me and get to know me, and I got to kind of see Paula's personality even more, which is always fun. This is my dream. This is not a whim or something I just wanted to try. This is what I want to do with my life. Your husband's gonna be a very lucky man. It was awesome. And then I just kind of mash it up with a fork, and this is gonna kind of be our spread for our Gorgonzola BAT. Instead of mayonnaise, we've got a healthy um, avocado, pretty green spread. And then to add a little sweetness mm -hmm. and just kind of enhance the sweetness that's already in avocados, I just add about a teaspoon of honey in there. And just give See, that... already cooking like a pro because you didn't measure that. That's, that's nah. about a teaspoon. <laughs> this only goes in the oven for like eight to ten minutes. I mean, this is just a very quick, easy thing to pull out and you, you go to the party. I brought plum, <laughs> plum prosciutto and walnut pizza. What'd you bring? <laughs> you know? it's so good. It's got that sweet and savory that is so, so good. So, uh -huh. so how do we get all, started? What you're going to start off with is you're going to start off with some whole wheat tortillas. You okay, use, so just regular whole wheat tortillas. Yep, you can use regular, but I like the whole wheat. You spray it with cooking spray okay. on both sides. Put a little kosher salt on there. Put in the oven at 350... 350 degrees, and it bakes on both sides for about four to five minutes, but keep an eye on it. Okay, and they come out nice and crispy. They come out just like this, crispy okay. like a tortilla shell. So, right. Hey, it needs a little more bite in there. Why don't you add some Worcestershire sauce? So <laughs> we're adding some Worcestershire sauce to this, and it's basically chicken on a stick. You can use it for an easy weeknight dinner to change up, you know, the, the sometimes boring chicken breast, <laughs> and or you can use it as a party food. So let's get started on the marinade. For our marinade, we have got a cup of peanut butter, and I like the chunky just because it adds a little texture in there, but you can use creamy if that's what you have. I've also added in the juice of one lime, and I'm gonna go ahead and get the zest of another lime in there. And this will just add some uh, freshness to it. We've got peanut butter, we've got you know Worcestershire sauce, we've got chili garlic sauce, so this is going to kind of brighten up the flavors a little bit. 